my friend. Welcome to paradise. I am Baryonyx. No, wait, my friend. You leave too soon. Look around. Ah, take it all in. Yes, yes. Believe me, this won't last forever. Alas, only 80 million years. Come, come closer. We will talk, you and I. Oh, but you are, how do you say, freaked out by my strangeness? My claws disturb you? My long, tapered mouth? I know you are as fascinated by me being a fish eater as I am. You see, with these, I can scoop out my fish dinner from the water. <laughs> and with the 90 short teeth I have in my mouth, I can eat it up. Yum. Yes, I know, I am very unique. There were not many of us. So come, we will soak in the sun of this paradise I live in. <sighs> Smell the perfume of the very first flowering plants. See the first butterflies. Ah, yes, that's it. Come a little closer. You begin to understand why I love it here, yes? Fine. Then go, go! There are other lungfish in the Cretaceous Swamp, you know? Just leave me be. But know this. You hurt me. Deeply. And now, I must stun myself. Come to the late Jurassic period in search of the great and powerful Compsonathus. That's Compsonathus. It's very easy if you practice. Ow! Hey, Bavariasaurus! Did you hear what they're saying about me? I am the number one land predator in these islands in the depth of sea. It's true! No dinosaur gets past me. Why, well, see these legs? They're long and slender, which helps me to run very, very fast. You are so full of hot air. I'm surprised you don't float away. Do you dare insult me, the mighty Gomsonathus? I can eat any lizard, dinosaur, or fish I want. Any one. I was the first complete dinosaur fossil that scientists could study. You, you see? see? Again, Again, I was, I first. was first. Number, Number one. one. Bring in the size chart. Okay, so I'm on the small side. So what? I'm still number one. Excuse me while I go and show our friend why I'm number one. Oh, you think I cannot climb? Well, you are wrong. My bones, they're hollow like a bird's, which means I'm light. And, oh yeah, see this tail? It'll help me stay balanced. You can run, but you can't hide because I am the magnificent Compsonathus! All right, team. Here we are in the late Jurassic period, 150 million years ago. You know me. I'm Coach Stegosaurus. You can say my name. Stegosaurus! That's the herbivore spirit? Okay, let's go over our equipment. Get in line. Great, let's see those plates. Now, that's not really enough armor, but they do make the carnivorous dinosaurs think twice about taking a bite out of us. These plates actually let us be warmer or colder, depending on how much we point them at the sun. Hey, an Allosaurus. Let's see those stagomizers. Yes, those stagomizers at the end of our tails are the real deal. Those spikes are up to 1.2 meters long. And we need them where we're from, what is now known as the Midwestern United States. In fact, we're Colorado State Fossil. All right, team. No one's gonna mess with us, right? Stegosaurus! 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 Rah, rah, rah! We're pretty big, the size of a bus. Are you ready, Stegosaurus? 
That's great, team! Stegosaurus! Oh yeah! Welcome to the late Cretaceous period 70 million years ago. I'm a Gorgosaurus. That's Gorgosaurus. Mom? No? They're gonna think I'm just a kid. I can't wait till I get big. I'm going to be even scarier than my mom over there. Rawr! Cause that's what my name means, Fearsome Lizard. I'm not as tall as she is yet, but one day I'll be nine meters long. I'll be as long as a house. Gorgosaurus like me, Tyrannosaurus? Phew, that's a big word, but it has to be big just like us. Imagine, we're in the same dino family with T-Rex. See all the sharp teeth? We're meat eaters and our teeth help us chew even the toughest meat. I'm from what is now known as Alberta, Canada. So when I get fully grown, watch out. If you want to get big, you have to eat a good meal. And I've already called you for lunch four times. Yes, Mom. Gotta go eat. See you later. Saurus, the frightful lizard. Did I scare you? Oh yeah, I'm the dino. Ah! Look at that scary dinosaur! Run for your life! That was a close one. Let me help you say my name. Das Pleto Saurus. Das Pleosaurus. Seventy-five million years ago is a horror show of carnivorous monsters. But you're never going to find a another scarier than me. See these teeth? These are dagger sharp, curved, and they have the same edges as saw. See? Saw? Get it? Ha <laughs> ha! These teeth are huge. Uh, only smaller than my future cousin Tyrannosaurus Rex. But they're still big! Uh, like I said before, uh, my name means scary lizard. And there's nothing scarier than me. Uh, let's think of some scary animals. A lion is scary, all right. <laughs> what else? A great big grizzly bear. Those are totally scary. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's my choppers as much as my size. Uh, I'm one frightful lizard, all right. I'm also hungry. Now that is scary. Hi, hi. I'm Zuni Ceratops. You say it zoo ni ser tops My name means Zuni Horned Head. And my eyebrow horns come in handy, especially since I have an itch in the middle of my back where I just can't reach. Ah! Ah! And this is my home here in the Middle Cretaceous period, 90 million years ago. See? My fossils were found in what's now known as New Mexico. A tribe of Native Americans lived here called the Zuni. Zuni, Zuni Ceratops. I'm the first Ceratopsian. That means dinosaur who likes to eat plants that has eyebrow horns. And I have another horn. See, at the tip of my nose. I'm not very big. Just about the size of a cow. So 
itchy. Wait, I know. Could you please scratch my back? A little to the left. Lower. Yes. That's the best thing about being in a herd. You always get a helping head. Bye for now. Hi, my name's Minmi. It's very easy to say, Min, me. And welcome to the early Cretaceous period, 150 million years ago. These, these are my friends, Larry and Mo. We're very special dinosaurs called ankylosaurs. Ankylosaurs are dinosaurs that eat plants and have armored plates on our backs. And today, we're gonna have a race. Hey. What are you trying to pull? Oh, come on. With all that body armor on your back, you didn't even feel a thing. Ta-da! Now, are we gonna race or not? Sorry, all of this racing is making me hungry. What are you talking about? We haven't even raced yet. Minmies aren't very big. We're about the size of a full-grown lion. Hey, we could have raced Australia and back by now. That's where our fossils were found. It was now known as Australia, a place called Minmies Crossing. Get ready. Get set, and... Uh. Eh, I don't feel like racing anymore. You? We're not very fast anyways. Let's just go for a slow walk then. Besides, we all know who would have won. Yeah, yeah me. me. Welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 67 million years ago, in what is now known as North America. Ah, we're all waiting for the eggs to hatch. Hi! I'm True Dawn. True Dawn. It means tooth that wounds. That's because of the very sharp teeth that I have. We're also the smartest dinosaurs around. Hey, Mr. True Dawn. My friend and I have a problem. We had five seeds, I ate two, and now there's only one left. How many did my friend eat? Your friend ate two. I knew it. Hey, Percy, I told you, you owe me two seeds. <laughs> See? Super smart. I'm pretty much half the size of a human being. But since I'm a theropod like a T-Rex, I'm at the top of the food chain. Mr. Trudon, my friends and I only have this one cicade, but both want it. What do we do? Awesome, you're the coolest. Sharp teeth and very sharp toe claws. Oh, they're going to hatch. Well, it looks like we're going to have a big birthday party tonight. But tomorrow, they have to start learning math if they're going to be smart like me. One, two, three! Now that's what I call fresh air on the open range. My name is Ineosaurus. That's i ne o -saurus. It means buffalo lizard. Did you know that I'm from what is now known as Montana? Only here, nowhere else in the world. You know, there's more to the late Cretaceous period than trees and stinky flowers. I'm a ceratopsid. That means I'm a herbivore. I eat plants. 
And I have a beak. And we have these big curved horns on our noses. Looks like a big bottle opener, doesn't it? Too bad there's no such thing as bottles in the late Cretaceous period. And I live in a big herd, which is great if there are any big dinos around that might be a threat. Just one of us might not be enough to scare off a big gobbler dino, even though we're six meters long and weigh two tons. But put us all together, and there is safety in numbers. And hey, if that doesn't work, there's always the old stampede!